wanted to do a short video to show you the benefits of using a tailor's clapper when pressing. Now I have two strips of um, cotton fabric, so this is just quilting weight cotton, both of which have been interfaced with um, a woven fusible medium weight interfacing. Now I have my iron here, it's already warmed up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my pieces and I'm just going to fold it in half and press it. Um, my iron is on a hot setting. And I'm just pressing it. Now you can see that the fold has, the fold is, is in there, but it's not pressed flat it still opens up it's resisting the fold um, and that's pretty much standard stuff pretty pretty much normal now I'm going to take another piece and it's exactly the same it's exactly the same size exactly the same fabric and my Taylor's clapper now Taylor's clapper um, this they're very very cheap I think I paid around 10 pounds on eBay for this and it's a lump of solid hardwood. This is um, oak. Um, you can get them made of, of all sorts of different woods. But try and avoid the cheap and cheerful ones, which are pine and they're quite lightweight. Um, this is, you can see that this has got a really close grain. Um, I have another one which doesn't have this groove along the side. Um, and I find that that's not as easy to use because my hand slips down on it. This I can keep hold of and keep pressure on quite easily. So I'm going to take my second piece of um, fabric and I'm going to fold it in half exactly the same way as I did with the first one. And this has got a little bit of steam but I haven't got it on a, on a high steam setting. Even with a high steam setting you still don't get... Um, so you can see that's just popping open. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the iron back on the um, on the heat is I'm going to pop my iron on there again just give it a little press and then pop the clapper directly on top just put a little bit of pressure onto it and hold it on just for a few seconds now if you've got fabric that's really resistant to being folded you can give it a squirt of steam before you put the clapper on I'm hoping that because I'm only doing the clapper on half and this is quite a small clapper I think it's six inches um, that you'll see the difference between one half of the of the fabric and the other half. So I've held it on and there you see one side is perfectly flat and the other which was pressed is resisting is resisting the press. You get a nice sharp fold with a clapper. So let's just do this end and show you again. So I'm just going to pop a bit of heat. So this is a little bit of steam as well. And you can see that's coming up straight away. I pop the clapper on and I am using a, um, a wool pressing mat here. That does help because it helps the, the, the wool pressing mat reflects the heat back out of the uh, back into the fabric on the back side. So um, you will always get a better pressing result with a wool pressing mat. And there you can see our piece of fabric is beautifully flat and pressed as opposed to this one which we did first which is just opening up again so let's just You can see it just stays pressed much much better so a tailor's clapper is, is well worth using if you have one um, for this pattern